So, welcome back. So, let's address a little bit uh, how to install this application, the Coda. We have an old video, but received a few comments that the instruction seems not to be working. There is an update. Okay, so let's address that in, in this video. So, <clears throat> the application is the Coda. It is an optimization tool. You have the link here. This is the, the latest version. So, this video knows targeted to those that are using this tool and having problems now installing that tool. So what was the difference here with these tools that they move the developers move everything to GitHub. So now you need to go in here and, and download the application. Okay, so not big deal. And I recommend you to get the latest version 618. Don't get it. this one unless now you want to get access now to the to the beta auctions and so on so this is still under it's a pre-release okay so this is the stable one okay so for the time of this recording it was 6.18 so download the application here you can get the source code okay so if you're working also in windows i think you have the executables or mac and so on so i will download my case now or already download the source code okay the general one and also you can download the GUI application also somebody asked how to install the GUI okay because in previous versions you, you need to compile something and just to mention that now you don't need to compile anything it's just in java so in my case working in linux okay download this one and let's go through the compilation so as you see i'm working in, in windows where i'm using Wi windows existing linux okay so i'm not going through detail how to install windows existing linux just go here to windows microsoft page and follow this instruction okay it is it, it, it is out of the box okay you just need to to type this command okay you need to have windows 11 by the way also with windows 10 but it's a little bit more tricky as you have older version of Windows doesn't work, but the installations that I'm going to show you are exactly the same as you're working in a native Linux installation or using the virtual machine with virtual bugs, VMware, whatever. Okay, so I'll, in my case, I'm using OpenSUSE. Okay, so here, okay, so what you need to do is just create the directory. You can put it whatever I like to put, to, to, to put it here in this directory, Dakota. Go there. Okay, I have the source code and extract everything. Okay, in my case, I already extracted. By the way, I haven't extracted uh, the GUI. Let me start, extract the GUI. This file that you see here, this is in Windows Subsystem when you could copy file from Windows to, to the virtual machine. So you can erase those files. That is in my case only, by the way. And let me extract here. So will be the code, da, 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 Linux. Okay, okay. So I extracted the, the GUI um, just to show you how to run it also. So you have it there. When you start that one, as I say, it doesn't require any installation. You enter there and you see that you have this script there. Just run that one. And there you go. So you would run this Java. It's Java. So you need to have a Java, but in any Linux, uh, Linux installation, you have it launch, And then you are going to have your graphical user interface where you can set up your Dakota cases and so on. So I'm not going to details in this video, probably will prepare some other videos, how to use this GUI or how to use uh, Dakota. I have to say that this is a nice good graphical interface to, to make your life easier with Dakota. Still, I prefer to go in my command line interface in the terminal, but I have to say there is a lot of stuff here, a lot of good stuff or bad medicine now that Honestly, you give it a try if you want. Okay, so that being said, that you see that the GUI uh, is a perfect one. You don't need to do anything. Let's move to business here that you, we need to install the coder. So as you said, you need to extract uh, the application. So you have already extracted there, but just to show you again the command line and CLI star for, uh, stands for command line interface. So you go, you extract your your application and then you will have the source code there okay i'm not going into details but feel free also to explore okay let me enter here and you have it there so you have some documentation source code examples so you can explore that in, in, in your own or probably some other videos i will go through details in the code and what you have there how to conduct 
optimization cases are, and so on. Okay, so to compile, okay, uh, the make file for Dakota is, is use CMake. So you need to install CMake, you need to have CMake, which by the way here, uh, there are some basic de de development tools that you need to have in your operating system Linux. So here I have a list, I would put, you have this instruction and the description and a link to see the minimum things that you need. But for instance, you're working with open phone also, if when you install open phone, you're going to, to install all the, these dependencies and it, would, and it will work. So these are the basic general dependencies, but then there are more specific ones to Dakota. Later, we're going to see which one are those. Okay, but have in mind that, in any case, you, 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 you will have in the video description the explanation or the link to get that, that small file. So first you need to create a directory, Dakota, oh, well, let me say, let me call it like this. Okay. So in this directory, okay, I'm going to install the binaries. Okay. So here you have the surf code and you're going to compile everything and you're going to put the header files, everything there. Okay. So this is the way how CMake work. Okay. So there are many applications, the developers, they should, they chose to do you see, mate, which, is, which is quite nice. Okay, so you go into this directory, okay. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. And now we need to create, so the directory is empty. Now when you compile, you need to create the configuration files. We use this command, ccmake, okay. This will be installed when you install cmake. So in this dependency list, you will have cmake here, okay. So you need to have this and then you just put this. So you go one directory back and then you go into the directory that you have the source code. Okay. So the CMake is going to look in this one for all the configuration files. And there you go. You're going to enter in CMake, which is kind of in CCMake, sorry, which is kind of a GUI you now to, to adjust this configuration according to your system. So the first thing is that you are here, you, you, you press C to configure all the installation. So remember that it's looking at the source code where you have some files and it's going to configure everything. So in my case, I'm not going to get any error already install all the dependencies just to show you how everything works out, out of the box. But later I'm going to show you, you know, what will happen when you have a dependency. You just need to read the message what you, you get here on the screen to, to, to see what dependency you are missing. Okay, so let's work on that. Okay, so as you see, a lot of messages. So you are missing something is going to tell you, okay, you are missing this dependency, this library or whatever. So everything was done. Okay, you press it and then here you go into the configuration. So these are the options of how to compile the application. So full free, okay, I recommend you to use the default options, but you can enable disable things there. There is a lot of stuff here. Uh, what is important, I recommend you this one, CMake install prefix. Where do you want to install CMake? Okay, so this is very important. By default, we install everything in this directory. This is a system directory. You need to be the system administrator. Okay, so likely you have your own computer. You are that administrator. In my case, I am the administrator. But however, I don't like to install files here. Okay, I prefer to have everything in my directory. But if you install here, Everything is smooth. There is no problem. Remember that you need to, to have user privilege. In my case, I prefer to install locally in the directory of the user. So let me go here. Let me open. Okay. I always, I don't recall what directory I use. So, okay. Let me copy, copy the path. So here's where I want to install everything. You go here. Put it there, so you're already telling install everything there. Enter, and that's all, okay? Then it's the one feel free to see all the options, but I recommend you just to go with the uh, <clears throat> with the default option. So when you adjust the prefix where you, you want to install Dakota, let me go to the beginning. This is a very long file. You press again C to configure now with the new options, and it's going to run the configuration, okay? If, so see that, and as I tell you, when you get errors, please read the screen. So in this case, it's giving me this error. Okay, you have error, and it's telling you that there is a problem with this one. Okay, so this is the case. This is the error that you get when you want when you install or you want to install 
the code in your user directory. If you install the code in the in the system wide directory in the in the USR local, you don't get this error. Okay, but the fix to this error is quite easy. Okay, so remember this keyword. Okay, it's asking you. Okay, this set group permissions. You know, is missing this information, or you need to give the base directory. Okay. So by default, it will install everything in user local, but you don't have that permission or where you are installing all the executable is a different directory. So press E and let's fix that error. So basically you need to point out to the same directory. Okay. And that option truly, really, you know, it, it is an advanced option. So as you see here in the bottom that you have this T, you can toggle advanced auction. So here you have more options. So simply look for that auction. Okay. So I know it's Trilino, Trilinos. So as you see there, there is a lot of stuff there. So you want to enable, disable, as they say, keep the, 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 the default auction. So here we're in Trilinos and we just need to look, okay, this one. Okay. This is the one that's telling you that you are missing that information and see that is the problem is quite simple that is pointing to the wrong directory. You need to point to the same directory where you are installing that. Okay, so always be careful, read the output the screen, the errors, and just identify now what is the error. That is in general, I know, because there are many pro uh, programs that use this CCMake and you can get these problems. So now that you adjust that, press C again, and you are going to configure. And is everything is okay. Okay, you should pass all this configuration. You should get to the end. So it says that everything is okay. And let's see, it's creating all the files and so on. And yes, configuration done. We set up everything, nothing else to do. Okay, we change the location of the installation and so on. At this point, we can generate the make file. Okay, so see that you first configure and then you press the G and you generate. As you look at here, you have all the files, it will move files, and now we can compile. So the compilation is make, and in this case, let me go, okay, I have this new portable computer that I have, believe it or not, I have 32 cores, okay, those ivory architecture, okay, I need to also to talk about this ivory architecture, so they have some problems, but in any case, that is something that, for another video, and I will compile with all those cores, Okay, it will be a very fast compilation, depending on what you have, it will be slower, but say that we're accessing everything in the compilation. And this is what is very cool about Windows Subsisting Linux, that it can access not all the information, all the processors, okay? It's different from VMware, if you're using VMware, that you need to allocate the resources here, it's sharing everything. Okay, probably you are hearing the, the, the fun of my computer now that is kicking in. Okay, so that is one of the drawbacks of this of this processor that yeah, the fan is quite noisy when you are running everything, but it's not a problem, you know, when you get the, a computer like this, you know that it's going to be noisy. So let's wait a little bit for the compilation. Okay, hopefully we're not going to get any errors. Okay. So as you see, the compilation is done, no problems, just a few warnings. So after you compile everything. Okay, the next step, it is just type make install. So you compile, you have all the libraries, header files and everything. So now make install is going to move the files and put it in the right directory. And this is it, compilation done. Okay, so in this file that you see here, directory, you're going to have all the binaries, okay? So in my case also, you will need to adjust and let me open here. Okay, I have sublime text, as my text editor. So you need to adjust your batch file to point out to where you install the code. So in my case, this is installation. Okay, install here, probably, uh, yeah. I need to comment that and that that was in this case an install in user local that i don't recommend or it is okay but i don't like to do it so here i install you point to the file again in the video description i will put a file just to to point out what you need to change in bash rc and why are the missing dependencies to have a clean installation this will be for open source if you are using something else ubuntu probably will be different libraries i i don't know okay so this is pointing there and now that <laughs> You go Dakota minus B and there 
there it is. It is running, everything perfect. Okay, so this is how you go. Okay, how do you go and install OpenFont? So this was a clean installation. I already have all the libraries. I show you the problems that can happen if you try to install Dakota as a, a, as a user, but also if you want to install in the user local directory, you are not going to, to get that, 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 that error. Okay, also some people might be interested in removing the installation. So everything that you install, Okay, CCMEG will also create this file. And if you look at that file, okay, it will show you all the files that were installed. So there is also an easy command that you can type like this. Okay, so this is just batch command. So you read that file and then just link this output using this command with RM and it's going to erase, every, erase everything. Okay, so if you want to remove everything that you install, use the install manifest file that you have in this directory it will work also if you do if you do that as a in the use as a as a super user in the user local directory remember again you you need to have uh access privilege you now as a system administrator okay now let me show you another error that you might get when you are missing library so i know let me go here for those running in dakota Okay, let me use Zipper. Okay, it's the application. In Ubuntu, I think it's apt get or something like that. Search boost. Okay, let me actually maybe I can have something here. Okay, this was this is the one. Okay. Or this one, regex. Okay, so let me look for this file. Okay, I will in uninstall this file, okay? So da, 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 there, so let me go. So let me install this one just to show you another potential error that you can get and how you can fix that. Okay, I want to in uninstall that library. Here will be remove. And remember, this stuff needs to be as a super user. And my password here, bam, 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 bam. It will ask me, yes. And I remove that. Okay, I don't have any more that. I broke my dependency with Dakota. And now let me go and, and run again CC make. Okay, CC make. Bam, bam, bam here. And da, 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 da. here. SRC. Okay, so if I run now configure again, see so that is giving me this error. So always rig the screen it's a quite easy so it's telling you that you are missing this library okay so in your case as you go and follow this instruction and you are getting the, this error just read and install the missing library okay so in my case i said as i said at the beginning i have all the dependencies i had all, all the dependencies already so it wasn't smooth but the first time i install i just have to to look for those dependency here i have basically the in my case open sources these are the dependencies that i needed to install this boost libraries then igen3 which is also this is not compulsory but it's better to have it no i like to have it as a system library and not a local library because i know that i use on other programs that i use this library so i, I prefer to have it as a system library. So I install all these dependencies and that's all. Okay. So just to show you that, okay, I'm getting that error. Let me quit this and <clears throat> let me go and install this, this library. So you go like this, you find your library. So the process will be, and let me go like, okay. You go in my case, zipper and you search that dependency. So it was asking with this, uh, boost uh, regex, okay, and then you look for that one, then install. I always recommend you to install the devil, the developer library, then in includes the, the header files. And very important also, you need to install this version. Be careful about that if you use my saying the open source in my case, I'm using 15.5, which is the late latest one, because by default, it's going to install 1.66. You need to remove that and install 175. So I will put also that in the installation instructions, okay? So when you install your operating system, you will get this version, okay? That one is not compatible with Dakota, you need to install this one. So, but just remove the old, the old one and then install the new one. So the command to install the new one will be something like this that I would put it there. 
you put this one and it will do the installation. It will give you a warning. It will tell you, okay, listen, that you, you have the previous version, the 1.66. What do you want to do? Do you want to remove? Do you want to break the dependency? So just remove the old one, okay? Nothing will happen with your system. So now let's reinstall that library that we removed. So in this case, install. I will install the dependency, okay? And now you go run again your CCMake, your configure, and you will see that that error will disappear, okay? So this is how you go through the installation, okay? So you configure again. So sometimes you need to, to run this configuration two times. Okay, I already have the, the files, okay? So I can quit. And then just you can go again and use do your make and compile everything. So hopefully, Okay, I have to erase everything. Okay, and getting this error. Okay, I mess around with the configuration file, but there is no problem. Okay, leave a minute, I need to answer the phone. Okay, so for instance, let me redo this. Let me do, <coughs> let me erase everything. You go, you run your CC make, and it's going to run this script. Okay, remember it's going to do an initial script, then you enter and you change the actions here and there according to what you would like. Advice, just to repeat it again, use the default options proposed by, by Dakota. Okay, so go here, modify your script. Uh, 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 this, this, all this option, it is uh, uh, at your discretion. This is the most important. I like to do it as a global user now but you can as a local user but you can do it as a global user let's do it in this case like that just to show you that the previous error that we we have with that three linux whatever you're not going to have it again okay so let's wait for this script okay exit we generate everything and now we can compile okay so let's recompile everything and let's wait a little bit. I'm back. The compilation, the new compilation is done. So in this case, I remember I'm installing everything in the in the system wide directory user local. So as you go, make install. Okay, so the previous steps I show you was local directory. Now I didn't change any anything. So you go make install. Okay, it will give you this error. It's simply telling you that to copy in this directory, you need to have administrative rights. So you can do like this or do all the installation using node administrator and login, but I prefer like this. So in this case, super user do, I give my administrator and voila, it will go. I will install everything and look at that you have this file or this message on the screen that you have the location of all files and what files you no know, the 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 script install i don't like to to, to work like this I prefer local and what is the main reason because a few versions ago well a few few okay back in the old days uh dakota have some files some libraries that they used to have the same name as the system files so is you by any chance you move here and that happens you are going to overwrite another file and that can be problematic okay so that is the my main reason specifically with the coda and then well as this is not a, a program that every user will use maybe it's better to have it as a local user but it's up to you and that's it you have the file and you can do everything uh, or you can use the coda normally now the question is what if i want to uninstall all these files so remember that during the installation process okay dakota is going to create this file and here you have all the files now this output that you see in the screen you have it there so basically you just need to remove those files obviously you don't do it manually here i have the command so as you go like this okay so basically using linux shell now commands you can go and install that so you will read the file okay then you are concatenating commands and then you use this xr to give us an input to rm you give us an input this output okay and you put sudo because it has to be the super user okay da, 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 da. And, and 
let me go here. Okay, let me put sudo here also. And okay, let me do it better as a root user. Okay, so now I'm in the root, so and there you go. I erase it everything. Okay, so as you go there, okay. So everything that was installed. Okay, at this point I think it should be shouldn't be there or I still have it there. Okay, didn't remove. Okay, yeah. See that it removes the files inside. It really the directors is still there. Okay, those you're you going to, to, to remove it local, but as you see, it's just Dakota directory. So just go there and you can remove those directory. But it removed effectively, it removed all files. Okay, so let me get out of the super user batch and at this point yeah if you want you can just change the configuration file and, and install that as a local user just to show you now i'm going to show you again how to do that because i already did it and this is the one and your problem was here okay just go there and remember to change the the location okay so my location is going to be this one here okay i put it there and then I remember that you have the three Linux stuff that fixes that. And I'm repeating this, doing all these commands because I received many questions, people. Oh, I having this problem when I move, when I install to, to, uh, to the local directory. So I would like to address all your questions, okay? And I think this will be very valid, this video for future developments or future versions because the developers are, are following all the, the same guidelines. So shouldn't be a problem for future versions. So this was the other option, okay, that I need to change. So put the directory name there, configure. So you are just updating the configuration file. If you don't get any errors, everything is cool. If you get any errors, remember, read the screen and see what it, what you are missing. It can be a dependency, it can be a directory, okay? So also always be careful uh if you don't modify this one because always sys make will try to install everything in, in in a directory where you need the the administrator privilege so you can update that or be careful about that okay now we're done and if i go uh and i don't need to re recompile actually so i can go and do make install because i update everything And there you go. Now we install everything in this directory. Here you have this. This is a error. It doesn't have, it's not a major problem. Okay. Here you have this file. As I mentioned that you have all the files that were installed. And there you go. Okay. You have your Dakota installation. Remember to update your bash RC. And this is it. Okay. So the same steps. Remember, applies is you are using VMware of you, you have a native installation of, of Linux, nothing changed. Uh, I decompiled everything. It was an old version in Windows. It, it is not easy, I have to say, but it can be done. It's not easy. But now that you have this Windows existing Linux, you can do everything. You, you can run the two systems now integrated. This is very nice feature. I, I really enjoy it. Okay, and uh, we have some videos. So how to install that, but it's just out of the box. It's quite easy. So this is all for this video. So we're going to prepare some more videos, how to use the code. Okay. There's many, a lot of people interested in that, but that will be at a, at a later time. Remember also that you have the GUI if you want to use the GUI and requires no compilation just to address that issue as well. Some people, how do I compile? You need to compile that. You just need to execute that is script. And if you have java and your system and everything it should run out of the box okay so that's all thank you for your attention and see you next time enjoy bye